We've been discussing Senate Bill 793 um, for some time now. The city Senate delegation voted 3-2, one abstention, to endorse legislation allowing Johns Hopkins to create an armed police force. It gives a lot of accountability on many different levels, um, and it uh, you know provides an opportunity for greater transparency to the public. Amendments to the bill require police to wear body cameras. The police department will be subject to the Public Information Act. They cannot hire more than 100 officers. 25% of the officers must live in the city. Johns Hopkins and its police department are not entitled to immunity. The bill now restricts Hopkins police patrols to the Homewood Medical Campuses and Peabody Institute in Mount Vernon. Senator Shirley Nathan Pulliam, who cast the deciding delegation vote, cites crime fighting as a selling point. If we give a few other police powers, we can have some more protection. The bill requires the state to provide $3.5 million for city youth programs and another million for the Youth Works Summer Jobs Initiative, and 10 million state dollars for community development projects. Make this bill truly be the Community Strengthening and Safety Act, because right now it should be titled the Johns Hopkins University Police Force. A potential wild card as this bill moves forward are the city delegates. Their endorsement is necessary for passage. The city delegates are calling for an emergency meeting Tuesday to discuss and vote on the measure. In Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.